So I'm glad that I um I changed where I was anchoring, which is exactly where those big propellers are blasting in now. <laughs> Look at it. Um, pretty much everyone's gone from the wrecks. They just stayed last night and then got shook around so much that they wanted to leave, which I totally understand. So I'm gonna pull out the pick, um, chuck it back down here, and that means I can snorkel straight from the boat, which is nice. After swimming with my first turtle of the trip, um, my plan was to head to Bribey Island to wait out some northerlies for a couple of days before heading north to um, Malula Bar. This is pretty wild. There's literally not a breath of wind. The wind indicator wouldn't know what it's talking about. <laughs> it's just talking. Um, it's really beautiful. Uh, there's supposed to be some wind coming in a bit, and I was going to motor, but I think I might just chill out and wait. There's a shipping channel just over there that I don't really want to be in um, until I've got a bit more power. And there's no rush, so I think I'm just going to chill. Read a book until some wind picks up. The huge width of the um, channel between Morton Island and Bribey Island um, made me think that the tides through here would be fairly moderate. Um, I've soon found this to be very incorrect. Crazy tidal stuff I'm stuck in here. I thought it was a, a depth thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Just as I thought I was getting out of a bit of a stressful situation, which I thought would be a walk in the park like always, there's crab pots everywhere. One of these ones catches my propeller in this tidal flow. I'm so in heaps of trouble. These crab potters have put a uh, red reflective stuff on the top of their pots and it is so much easier to see than the white. Uh, they're my friends. I spent a nice couple of days in Bribey, but sleeps like this soon made me interested to keep on going. Oh, let's create this short, sharp little chop. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really loud. It's like bam, 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 bam. When a heavy keel boat like mine is anchored, um, water is the main driver of its um, movement because it's most of its surface is in the water and um, water is much uh, heavier and more powerful than wind. Um, that's not true of catamarans though, so you generally want to try and uh, anchor only near boats that pretty much are just like you because you'll um, drift in the same directions. Um, but when um, wind and tide uh, are going in opposite direction, the it creates these short sharp little horrible waves that come and slap on your hull um it's best to avoid this but then often there's just not many places to anchor so sometimes you just have to cop it the sail up to malulaba was really delightful the winds are really nice the seas were low um, the sun was out and um the scenery was really beautiful um yeah getting through the bar was, was fine um I did manage to get a spot in the, the very uh, crowded but also very protected duck pond in there. <laughs>